In 2022, Sri Lanka was forced to declare bankruptcy due to a severe financial crisis. This news put this peaceful Indian Ocean island country into the global spotlight. Faced with the serious challenge of economic collapse, Sri Lanka began to seek assistance from all sides, only to find that most of its neighbors and global partners kept their distance from the country on the verge of financial collapse. However, in this context, China attaches great importance to this Belt and Road partner and continues to reduce Sri Lanka's burden through investment and loan interest exemptions. Just recently, in response to China's support, the Sri Lankan government signed a cooperation agreement worth 4.5 billion US dollars with Chinese companies. The plan is for a Chinese energy company to build a large refinery in Sri Lanka's Hambantota region. However, after the establishment of this cooperation, it caused dissatisfaction in India. Because the project was originally undertaken by an Indian company, but now it was unexpectedly transferred to China, they believed that China had taken away the project that originally belonged to them. So, what we are going to discuss in today's video is, why did Sri Lanka reject India and hand over the refinery project to China? How important is this project to Sri Lanka? If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. Regarding the country of Sri Lanka, I think many people are not particularly unfamiliar with it. It is an island country in the Indian Ocean with an area of approximately 65,600 square kilometers. From the map, it has an extremely important geographical location. The country borders the Indian Ocean to the south, the Strait of Malacca to the east, the Bay of Bengal to the northeast, and the Arabian Sea of the Indian Ocean to the northwest. This geographical location makes Sri Lanka a strategic fortress in the Indian Ocean and a maritime transportation hub connecting the east and the west. Not only that, its climate and stunning seaside scenery are world famous. Every year, thousands of tourists travel to this island nation to enjoy their holidays. According to Common Sense, the economic development conditions of this country are pretty good, but why did it fall into bankruptcy in its subsequent development? In fact, the reason for all this is that Sri Lanka has chosen a development route of blindly relying on debt expansion. Since the end of Sri Lanka's civil war in 2009, the country has begun large-scale foreign borrowing and investment. By 2019, a new government came to power and implemented comprehensive reforms. At that time, their economists promoted an economic theory of unlimited money printing and believed that as long as full employment and low inflation could be maintained, fiscal deficits were not a concern. However, in less than two years, Sri Lanka's money supply surged 42%. This has led to a sharp devaluation of the currency, from 150 rupees to the dollar to 360 rupees to the dollar now, and inflation has soared to over 54%. A considerable part of these borrowed investments have been invested in projects with very low returns, which has made it difficult for a large number of Sri Lankan companies to repay their debts. Although these factors by themselves are not enough to cause Sri Lanka's economy to collapse in the short term, the sudden outbreak of the global COVID-19 epidemic in 2020 has severely impacted this tourism-based country. As far as I know, the tourism industry, which contributes about 10% of GDP to the country's economy every year, almost completely collapsed within a year, exacerbating Sri Lanka's economic woes. Until 2021, Sri Lanka's foreign debt reached a staggering 51 billion US dollars. This high debt has laid security risks for the country's future. With the new Sri Lankan Prime Minister Wickremesinghe taking office in May 2022, the country's government officially declared economic bankruptcy to the world. By July 2022, Sri Lanka had completely fallen into anarchy. Although Sri Lanka's economic development has encountered many difficulties, 
China has always supported the country behind the scenes. When Sri Lanka was on the verge of bankruptcy, China provided 500 million yuan in material assistance to Sri Lanka, including food, medicine, fuel, and other daily necessities. Whether for humanitarian reasons or strategic interests, China does not want to give up this partner. This is because Sri Lanka is a partner of the Belt and Road Initiative and has an opportunity to rebuild its economy, that is, Sri Lanka is rich in oil resources. In fact, Sri Lanka has always been a low-key oil power. According to the Statistical Yearbook of World Energy, Sri Lanka's oil reserves rank fourth in the world, behind Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, and Canada. The total amount of proven recoverable oil in the world is 1,733.9 billion barrels, of which Sri Lanka's reserves are as high as 155.6 billion barrels. This number accounts for almost one-tenth of the world's total reserves. But if you want to exploit this oil, in addition to having mature mining technology, you also need a complete petrochemical refining industry chain. This further prompts China to support Sri Lanka's economic development, given Sri Lanka's potential fossil energy resources. In November 2023, China and Sri Lanka successfully reached a new cooperation agreement. The two governments have officially revived a stalled refinery project. According to the cooperation agreement between the two parties, Chinese energy companies will invest 4.5 billion US dollars in the southern Hamban Tota region to help Sri Lanka build a large refinery project. As far as I know, this is the largest single investment in the island nation since the severe economic crisis of 2022. As planned, the project will officially start construction in June this year. So, how important is this massive refinery project to Sri Lanka? According to the cooperation plan, the new refinery will be built near the new Hambantota International Port in southern Sri Lanka, covering an area of approximately 2.36 million square meters. The project is expected to be completed by the end of 2026. After being put into operation, the refinery's daily oil production capacity is expected to reach 20,000 barrels, and its annual refined oil design output will reach 900 tons. This will significantly alleviate the energy shortage problem currently faced by Sri Lanka. At the same time, the project is expected to create more than 20,000 local jobs and help low-income groups tide over difficult economic times. More importantly, the project provides oil refining technology to Sri Lanka at a reasonable cost, so that Sri Lanka is expected to obtain greater economic benefits from this cooperation, thereby helping them repay their huge debts. However, this equal and mutually beneficial cooperation has caused concerns in India. Some Indian media even claimed that China had taken away projects that should have belonged to them. So, what is going on behind the scenes? As early as 2019, Sri Lanka reached a cooperation with India to build a large oil refinery in the Hambantota region in the south. The project is jointly contracted by India's Silver Park family business and Oman's energy sector, with a total investment of 3.85 billion US dollars. However, during the cooperation process, India put forward harsh conditions requiring that the oil produced by the refinery must be supplied to India first, and the distribution of interest between the two parties must be based on a 9 to 1 ratio. This similar interest monopoly attitude is also a common pattern in other Indian oil investment projects in Sri Lanka. However, due to these unexpected conditions, the project has triggered a long-term controversy, and India has been slow to start construction. Against this background, the Sri Lankan cabinet finally decided to terminate the cooperation agreement with India. According to Sri Lankan officials, approximately 1,200 acres of land that had been allocated for the refinery was taken back by the government. It was not until 2023 that Sri Lanka reached cooperation with China. So from this perspective, China has not snatched projects that originally belonged to India. 
In fact, it was Sri Lanka that chose to abandon cooperation with India after facing the challenges it encountered in cooperation with India, and instead chose cooperation with China. For the current Sri Lanka, they are not good at developing and refining local oil resources. It can only rely on foreign technology and oil production. This dependence allows foreign companies to use their technological advantages to obtain most of the profits. But this will make it difficult for them to obtain a relatively equal position in the interests of oil resources. But in this case, Sri Lanka often can only obtain smaller economic returns. This not only limits Sri Lanka's ability to benefit from its natural resources, but also exacerbates economic dependence and unequal international relations. In order to change this situation, the fastest way for Sri Lanka is to seek more equal cooperation agreements with foreign investors and companies to ensure that national interests are better protected and prioritized in cooperation. It is not difficult to see that exploring multilateral cooperation with multiple countries may also help improve negotiating power, thereby obtaining more favorable terms and a larger share of profits. In these ways, Sri Lanka will not only improve its position in the oil industry, but also use natural resources more effectively to drive economic development and national prosperity. International cooperation and diversified sources of investment have always been key to a country's economic recovery. Although China has provided certain support, if other countries can also participate in investment and help, I believe Sri Lanka will gradually recover from the worst economic crisis in more than 70 years. To not miss out on our future projects and news updates, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We will continue to provide you with more exciting and interesting content.